I just, when I went to click record, started thinking about that TV show, Taxi Cab Confessionals or whatever it's called and how this is like, hearse confessionals or something. I just came from a service that was, I, I, in 20 plus years in the business, I've heard hundreds of funeral services, hundreds of people preaching or talking or sharing messages of hope and loss and encouragement and trying to help people through these moments. So it's not often, I will say, that things maybe strike home or I get, I get something out of these messages because you hear a lot of the same message, a lot of the same scripture, a lot of the same readings, a lot of the same poems, a lot of, a lot of the same everything. And so it takes a lot to really hit home for me. I think one of the first times that has happened was a pastor was talking to a family and they were talking about the 23rd Psalm. And this doesn't have to, I'm not talking about just religious teachings with what I'm talking about right now, but it's hearing old information in a new way. And we've all had cliches or um, helpful hints or things that maybe people say to us over and over and over and they kind of lose their meaning over time. So I was with a family once when they were talking with their pastor and the pastor was talking about the 23rd Psalm and he basically said and started talking about the valley of the shadow of the death and was saying this isn't about the deceased going through that valley it's about you as a survivor going through that valley and the intent is never that you stay in that valley that valley is where you're in where it feels dark and it feels bad but you will come out that other side and just talking about it and seeing kind of death and loss and grief in a new way by what he was saying. So that to me was really powerful because I never heard a pastor talk that way or anybody explain maybe death and loss that way and from the griever's standpoint rather than that the deceased was going through this valley of shadow of death and then going on to heaven. So that was interesting. Well, so today the pastor, happened to be a pastor again, but this is not a religious speech, um, he said and was talking about how you may fail, but you are not a failure. Right now, as a mom and a wife and worker, feeling super overextended on a weekly basis, I am texting the words, I'm failing at everything to my friends or my husband or whoever, or I'm saying it out loud to somebody because I feel like a failure. And it was really powerful to me just to hear that phrase, you may have failed, but you're not a failure. That one moment of maybe something not going the way you wanted, you may feel like you failed at it, but doesn't make you a failure. It was powerful. I had to try really hard not to cry at this graveside service. It had nothing to do with like loss. It just had to do with a lesson in life. And so at services, we're not just looking at loss and looking at death, we're looking at lessons that we learn about life and how to maybe live our lives and things that the deceased life can teach us. So these are little moments and new ways of looking at things that once in a while just hit home to me. And it's not often, um, and it doesn't happen even every week or month once in a while something really hits home and those were two of the moments that something at a funeral affected me the worker at the funeral by the words and actions and what that family how they lived and how that person lived and um, just the lessons they had so you never know where you're gonna learn something and sometimes it can be at a funeral mm -hmm.